My name is Claude Moss. I'm the program director for the Respiratory Care Therapist Program at Oklahoma City Community College and Francis Tuttle Technology Center. Uh, the program at Oklahoma City Community College is a consortial agreement program with Francis Tuttle Technology Center. In that, you come to Oklahoma City Community College, take your general education courses, your anatomy and physiology one, your anatomy and physiology two, chemistry, uh, history, uh, and such. You take two respiratory courses at Oklahoma City Community College, Introduction to Respiratory Care, and uh, uh, Cardiopulmonary Anatomy and Physiology. When you're taking those courses, that's typically when you apply to the program. There's an application process to get in, and it's a preference point GPA type uh, competitive entrance uh, um, process. Uh, we take two course, two groups of students a year. We have a January start and we have a June start. Uh, people that are eligible to apply and start in January, the application deadline is September the 30th. When you start in January and come to Francis Tuttle at that point, you go full time for that full, that entire year from January and you graduate in December. Uh, if you're eligible for the June start, the application deadline is March the 1st uh, every year, and you apply, you get in, you start in June, you go summer, fall, spring, and you graduate the following May. So that's kind of unique about our program in that we have two start dates, two different groups of students. Uh, to manage that, uh, we have a total of eight respiratory care therapists uh, that meet all the students' needs. Uh, these uh, faculty, which includes myself, Crystal Cosper, clinical director, uh, we are all uh, registered respiratory therapists. We are all adult critical care uh, specialists. And four of us, in addition to that, are pediatric and neonatal specialists. So we are very prepared to meet your educational requirements um, and get you prepared to graduate and uh, sit for your national boards and become a registered respiratory therapist. Once you come to Francis Tuttle uh, and begin your coursework, it is full time. And uh, when I say full time, I mean Monday through Friday from eight to three in class or else uh, clinical days. And clinical days may be eight hours or 12 hours at the various clinical facilities. Uh, when you go to clinical, we rotate you around and you have the opportunity to uh, go to all of the large critical care facilities in the metro area. For example, Integris Baptist, Mercy, uh, OU Medical Center Children's, OU Medical Center Presby, Norman Regional, Norman Healthplex, uh, Southwest Medical Center, Deaconess. Uh, we do do some smaller clinical facilities as well. But uh, you get a good variety of clinical experience for adult, pediatric, and neonatal pulmonary function uh, diagnostic, diagnostic testing uh, in your clinical practice, which prepares you quite nicely to be employed. Many of my graduates are employed before they graduate, actually, uh, and uh, they then graduate and accept either full-time employment or part-time, just whatever you know they prefer, whatever they like, because uh, the, the opportunities for employment are out there. Uh, you may have heard of respiratory care therapists, respiratory therapists uh, quite a bit on the news recently in uh, that we manage uh, the ventilators that are, have been in such need uh, as a result of the COVID-19 experience. Uh, and certainly we do, and we manage those ventilators for adult patients, pediatric and neonatal patients. Uh, we respiratory care practitioners do a lot of critical care uh, medicine, respiratory care. But in addition to that, we also do home care, rehab, uh, long-term care facilities. Uh, you can be an educational coordinator at one of the clinical facilities at one of the hospitals, if that's an area that you like. Um, we do lots of floor therapies, teach and educate patients about their disease processes uh, and the medications they take and the frequency and how best to those medications. Uh, so it's quite an involved, quite a, a, 
a uh, interesting uh, field to be in. Uh, another outstanding aspect of the Restrict Care program is our medical director, Dr. Talk, is a pulmonologist and an office at Mercy Health Center. When you're in respiratory therapy school, you will have the opportunity of interacting with Dr. Talk in the classroom, uh, as well as doing rounds with Dr. Talk at clinical, which is absolutely one of the students' favorite things to do. They, they're always kind of a little scared about that at first, but then they decide, oh yeah, that was the best thing ever. Um, again, employment as far as respiratory care, not a problem. Respiratory therapists in Oklahoma, up on graduation, uh, they, are, they make somewhere between $21 and $26 per hour uh, as starting pay. Uh, that just kind of depends upon if you're going to work evenings, weekends, and that kind of thing. But it's $21 to $26, so it's not bad. Um, our graduation success rates are awesome. When you graduate from respiratory therapy school at Francis Tuttle, Oklahoma City Community College, you graduate with an associate in applied science degree from Oklahoma City Community College, which makes you eligible to sit for your board exam. Uh, Francis Tuttle will pay for your board exam. And when you pass that and you, you earn the credential of certified respiratory therapist, then you take the second exam, the clinical simulation exam, and you pass that and you earn the credential of registered respiratory therapist. As soon as you earn your first credential, that makes you eligible for a license to practice in the state of Oklahoma. Most states these days, all oh, probably 48 of the 50 have licensure requirements. And usually the licensure requirement is associated with earning credentials and maintaining continuous uh, education as you progress into your, pro into your uh, uh, profession. Um, Let's see, what else can I tell you? The respiratory care profession has a national organization, the American Association of Respiratory Care, that lobbies for us on a national level. And we have the Oklahoma Society for Respiratory Care uh, that we encourage your participation in as a student and, and as a graduate uh, to promote our profession and to promote uh, continuing education and, uh, and healthcare, respiratory healthcare uh, in, in the community. Uh, one of our recent graduates actually is, uh, uh, was just uh, serving as the president of the Oklahoma Society for Respiratory Care. So we, we get you involved in the profession in, in any and all kinds of ways. Um, and questions uh, about respiratory care, you can give me a or you can uh, email me. I have two email addresses at Oklahoma City Community College. It's clyde.w.moss at occ.edu. At Francis Tuttle, it is clyde.moss at francistuttle.edu. So an email to either place, I will get it and be able to respond and answer any questions you might have about the profession of respiratory care. Thank you very much for this opportunity.